Hey, what is up everybody? It is Cook the Celestrian, and here as you can probably guess from the title, we are talking about hot tub streamers and hot tub streams on the platform of Twitch. And I'm gonna start this video right out the gates with how I feel about it. I feel like they should probably be banned off Twitch. And now, you will probably be like, why Hayden? Or why Cook? That seems like a terrible take. Or you might be like, that seems like a great take. But let me tell you why here real quick. I think a lot of you can agree with me. First off, regardless of what the stats say or not, Twitch is primarily a platform for children. Kids from like the ages of 13 to like 17 are probably Twitch's prime viewers. And that's I think that's undoubtable. I don't think anyone can disagree with that. You know, if the stats say 18 to like 24, like it does for YouTube, that's just all the kids saying they're 18 to 24. Because who the hell is going to go on Twitch and be like, yes, I am 13, guys. No one's going to do that. But, I think we can all make the assumption that mostly children are viewing Twitch. And that's where the problem with hot tub streams come in, is that Twitch is a platform that is geared towards children with all the things they do ban, like slight self-harm, like hitting yourself in the head with a keyboard, they ban gambling, they ban, you know, uh, I don't want to say cursing, but they ban the use of certain words like retard and you know some other slurs that I'm not willing to say. I, I like the word retard, but there's a lot I'm not there's a lot I'm not willing to say. But they banned a lot of those words and it's, so it's very clearly geared towards children. But for some reason hot tub stream hot tub streams remain as a whole separate category even on Twitch and it's something that is kind of prominent in the Twitch ecosystem. It really confuses me why it's not okay to maybe gamble in front of kids or maybe hit your head with a keyboard in front of kids or say retard in front of kids but it is okay to show them softcore porn and to help build on that um to devalue women even because i don't want a 13 year old grabbing you know my credit card or his parents credit cards going on a hot tub stream being like hey here's 20 bucks do a squat because not only is that fucking crazy and insane that that child is taking his parents' credit card, first off, but it's also the fact that for 20 bucks, he's entitled, he now feels entitled to control what the woman's doing and to view that woman. And that's just something that's really unhealthy, especially for like 13 and 14 year olds to really experience. Because that's really how you get idiots like Andrew Tate and Aiden Ross. Because they basically feel like every single woman on the planet is a hot tub streamer. And they do anything for money. When that just simply isn't true and a terrible, awful ideal to have. And it's really bad. The problem is, is with these hot tub streamers and with these 13, 14 year olds being introduced to them. Like maybe women really are like this. And they get introduced to the ideals of someone like Andrew Tate or Aiden Ross. Or Sneeko. And now suddenly they're like, wow, this must be how the world functions then. You know? And this is how women really are. Yeah, something really, really bad for the world. And the only people that really benefit from that are the Andrew Tates and the hot tub streamers themselves. No one else benefits from that. Certainly not women. It is a terrible thing. And let's uh, go even further into it. We said hot tub streams are softcore porn. But if we're going to be really honest here, a lot of them are advertising for an OnlyFans or a different porn website. So now you're giving these children a direct leak to actual full-on porn so it's like isn't that even worse and they're going to probably spend money on that so now they're spending money on porn watching porn watching things they shouldn't really be seeing and you might be saying like where's the responsibility of the parents coming which i agree the parents need to be watching what their kids are viewing and stuff like that but twitch being geared towards children as it is twitch is usually a website that parents kind of give the pass to you'd imagine and be like, hey, you're just watching a, someone game on Twitch because Twitch is meant for gaming, not for anything else. And it's like, I'm going to let my kid watch Twitch because it just makes sense. I'm not going to ban Twitch off their phone. And then, but really, they're looking at the software porn and getting introduced to more porn, getting introduced to the idea that money can make a woman do whatever you want. And that's just a really terrible ideal that idea to have, ideals to hold. And getting that uh, smashed into your head from a young age is bad. And like I said, that's what creates those Andrew Tates and Aiden Ross idiots. Finally, I want to talk about gambling and how that got banned. I think, hot take, I think gambling should have been banned. I think that is a bad influence on kids and on anyone if we're being completely honest. Gambling is a bad thing. And gambling companies are bad entities. 
extremely immoral, even more so than normal companies, I'd say. And gambling should not be promoted towards kids or put into any kind of positive light. People spending uh, millions of dollars on gambling, like streamers doing this, and, you know, just having infinite money to, to spend with because the gambling company is behind them. I agree it needs to get banned because they're advertising that to children. Maybe they do put their losses as well, but guess what? Those, those, those streamers have $2 million coming in a month, and those kids aren't going to have that when they start gambling online. So I agree with the gambling being banned, and plus the Twitch is meant for gaming. But if you're going to ban that for being harmful to children, then how is the hot tub stream still allowed? That's what doesn't really make sense to me, because I think both are very harmful to children. I would argue the softcore porn is worse, especially because it's you're directly interacting with the woman and paying them to do certain things. I feel like that's worse than just gambling or watching gambling. They're not actually gambling. Uh, but then they can go gamble after they watch it. But it, that's not what we're talking about here. But yeah, I think it's just really bad. I believe, believe it leads to a skewed perception for children, young men. Let's not young women. Let's be honest, young men here. That believe that money equals the right to see a woman's body or have the right to a woman's body. And that is something that is very, very, very bad and not true at all. You know, I want to make it very clear that, you know, women and men are 100% equal. It's just unfortunately because of these hot tub streams, it kind of causes these young men that are these 13 year olds, 14 year olds, they're viewing it to have a messed up perception. And honestly, if there's any dudes out there, you know, that are half naked doing a hot tub stream, you know, wiggling their peepees around for young girls, I feel the same exact way about them. I just feel like that's, I don't know, I can't think of a single person who does that. That's where the difference is, if we're being honest. But yeah, I think hot tub streams should be banned off Twitch. I think gambling should have been banned off Twitch. And I feel like any platform that is mostly for children, that is geared towards children with a mostly children fan base, should not have softcore porn on it, shouldn't have gambling on it. And that's clear. The, that's clearly the direction Twitch wants to take is to be family friendly, advertising friendly. But for some reason, hot tub streaming is still allowed. I believe they did demonetize it a while ago. But at the same time, it's still on there, and those that just means the malls are just getting money from donations instead, which means they're directly uh, profiting off these kids that are watching them. And let's all and like continuing the, the the theme of being honest here. No grown adult is going on those streams, right? Maybe like one or two weirdos, the weird stalkers, but grown men are going to fucking Pornhub or X videos or something, you know, or just going to OnlyFans directly. No, no young children. I mean, no old men, older men are going on those websites on Twitch to get their porn intake. And that's another thing. It introduces these children to porn because you're like, well, they can just always look up Pornhub. That is true. But guess what? If you're on Twitch to watch Ninja game a little bit on Fortnite and then your recommended videos or the biggest category that's most popular right now is hot tub streaming. What if you click on that? That's not really going to be a uh, very good thing, is it? That might introduce you to that world. And yeah. And that's and when Twitch is supposed to be something safe for your child to be on, and his parents are probably gonna let him be on Twitch. So yeah, that's what I'm really against. And I'm not saying that you know women can't post whatever they want or do what they want. They can, anyone can. But on Twitch, I feel like they need to take a step to make sure that you know maybe people can't because <laughs> they have before with the gambling, with certain curse words, uh, and so on, and self harm. And by self harm, I mean like very minimal self harm that probably shouldn't count. And they took those steps, so why is the step to ban softcore porn one they're not really willing to take? It just really is confusing to me. And like I said, uh, don't get the idea that I'm aligning with someone like Andrew Tate or Aiden Ross. They're terrible for society, and they're also part of the problem to make these young men have a negative perception of women when, when you really shouldn't. Because women are just equal to us men <laughs> it's the, I mean it's just the fact of it and uh, you know I'm all for you know gender equality I just really feel the need to say that a lot because for some reason you don't really see a lot of people with level heads talk about this issue you know because if someone's like hot tub streaming needs to be banned they're like Andrew Tate saying it, or Aiden Ross saying it, or Cinco saying that those people are fucking insane they're insane and they're they're their opinions hold no weight but you don't see someone with like just a, no, a normal person talking about against it that does value women you know 
Like, you'd never find someone that's fucking... <laughs> there's no one that's not misogynistic that comes with this ideal for some reason publicly about it. So that's where I'm trying to come from. I'm trying to come with the ideal that hot tub streaming is bad, but I love women a lot, and they provide a lot to society. Uh, you know, just as much as men, if not more, in certain cases. So, yeah, that's my video, guys. I hope you guys can agree with me. If you don't, let me know why. If you do, let me know why. If you're in the middle, let me know why. And, yeah, uh, that's all I got. And, yeah, I think it's morally wrong to advertise yourself uh, sexually to children. Peace out. Oh, wait, one last thing I want to talk about. This is a... I'm actually glad I thought of that. Um, a lot of people... A lot of... I fear this argument a lot, is that, like titties and ass that's not really sexual and that shouldn't be viewed as sexual and whether that's a if, whether that's a valid point or not the fact of the matter is ass and titties are viewed as sexual in this society so it is you know whether it should be or shouldn't be is isn't something that i can say or have the knowledge of i just know it is so i really find that argument kind of irrelevant because simply it, it, it is you know anyway thank you guys for watching stay blessed be happy and see ya